Hey Fire Signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for February the 11th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising of Venus. This is for February the 11th, 2020. What guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising in Venus? Okay. <laughs> what guidance do we have for Aries? All right, Aries. We have angel of families. It says the angels surround both you and your family at the moment. Let's see what guidance we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Leo? All right, Leo. We have angel of clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. What guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Guidance messages for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Sagittarius, we have Angel of Addiction Healing. It says this is a time of positive transformation and healing. The underlying message for all of my fire signs is Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. All right. Before I get started, for those of you that are interested in purchasing the Lover Special for Valentine's Day, the link is in the description. This special will end February the 15th, which is this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. So if you guys want to purchase that, now is the time. Let's see what messages we have. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 11th, 2020. Messages guidance for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 11th, 2020. Messages guidance for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four of Pentacles here. So, holding on. Who holding on? Four of Pentacles here with the Justice card. Could be dealing with the Libra. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a space of holding back, needing to weigh the pros and cons of a situation so that you can see what is within the best vibration for you. We have the King of Cups here. Could be dealing. King of Cups is Cancerian energy. Because it could be any water sign. Masculine energy could be in a space of really needing to extend your energy sun card here could be dealing with a leo this is about seeing things clearly page of wands here i feel like someone needs to be enthusiastic about allowing some new ships to come in i feel like someone needs to establish their own strength in order to create change okay okay mm. All right, so I feel like some things are changing. I definitely talked about this in the air sign reading, and we had justice under there, so you could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Let's see what we have here. Justice is Libra, for those of you that are unaware. <laughs> we got the King of Cups here. Why is this King of Cups here? Knight of Pentacles here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, so some of you guys are being very methodical moving forwards here towards someone new. Page of Cups here. I feel like you're kind of holding back a little bit. Really trying to stand firm. Trying to create some type of firm structure within yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're kind of... I'm going to be real with you. I feel like you're holding back. Even though there may be someone new and things are starting to change, there could be some clear changes that are happening. You're very much in the space of trying to have patience. Sun card here. We have the Eight of Wands here with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's clear that someone is wanting, I don't know if you're communicating or you're moving into something. You could be moving into a new job. Could be happy about that. Could be moving into a new commitment. If someone's moving into a new commitment, even if they're not physically moving into a commitment, the happiness or the clarity about you moving forward is changing and moving towards something that is stable. I feel like there's some clarity around that, but someone, is, again, is still holding back, kind of holding on. Why is this page of wands here? Why is this page of wands here? We got the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you've been inside your shell, you're kind of putting an end to that, really coming out of that devil card here. There may be some negative or fear-based thoughts surrounding investing into a new relationship. What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all. So I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel like you're really needing to kind of go within yourself during this transformation. I feel like you need to be enthusiastic about what's happening with judgment here in the page of wands. This is about like clearly trusting what you feel with inside of yourself some of you guys have some new passions you're trying to have patience through this change 
allow the change to happen. Why is this three of wands here? We got the four of cups in reverse. So I feel like for some of you guys, eight of cups here with the three of swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is a, you're walking away or you have walked away from. Okay, so for some of you guys, you walked away from a relationship. Three of, I mean, four of cups in reverse, eight of cups with three of swords. I feel like in the past, you could be growing or healing past some sort of betrayal, some sort of heartache. Um, you have an opportunity that is going to bring emotional fulfillment, that is going to give you what you want. But in order to get what you want, you have to move with the currents, like flow. <laughs> I feel like uh, for a lot of you guys, you're in a space of really kind of holding back. I think you need to let it flow. I think it's time for you to really extend your energy and allow yourself to kind of move forward. The will is here. So there are some clear changes that are happening. Why is this will of fortune here? Strength here, finding the strength to move with those changes. I feel like some of you guys got to, some of you guys really <laughs> have some negative or fear-based thoughts or just fear-based thoughts that are keeping you bound um, or keeping you in the state of restriction. With the nine of swords, it's just your anxiety. Um, remove the anxiety and allow yourself to flow. Whatever you're moving toward is destiny. Um, your destiny awaits here. Some of you guys, I mean, <laughs> you're trying to hold back. You're trying to hold on. Keep from moving forward because you're afraid of what could happen. Because some of you guys have dealt with some betrayals or something in the past. Destiny awaits. I don't know if this is a new person or just a new type of energy within your life. Regardless of whatever it is, you need to let go of whatever you're holding on to. Because whatever you're holding on to is nothing compared to what you're going to gain. The will is the outcome here. So, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Alright, so let's see what guidance we have. Y'all, no, I can't. What guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Aries? We have energy healing. So I do feel like there's some healing that is happening, that is occurring. Um, I do feel like you need to understand that you can do it. Okay, who got you can do it? I forgot who got that. I think it was Aquarius. I, or Libra. I can't remember. All right, so let's see what message. It might have been Libra. So let's see what messages we have. For Leo, so I'm rising in Venus. All right, Leo, we have listen. Let's retreat into nature. Capricorn got this as well. And some, I did see Capricorn a couple times. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn or that's somewhere predominantly in your chart. Um, I feel like with listen and retreat into nature, some of you guys really need to go into nature, like go to the beach, go to the park or something and listen to yourself, listen to what you feel. This can also be about going within that heart space because the green color is the color of the heart chakra so some of you guys need to go within your heart space and really listen listen to your heart i think that's a song but i can't remember how it go <laughs> sagittarius sun moon rising and venus we have see the other person's point of view all of my fire signs you got you can do it you can do it i feel like today is just a matter of really Finding the confidence to actually do what it is that you want to do or do what you've been planning to do, but you're afraid to kind of take that leap forward. So good luck. It's going to it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. This is all I have until next time, y'all. Peace.